Hello students, today I am going to explain you the human heart. So here you can see the diagram of human heart and I wish that you must know heart is located towards left side of our body and it weights around 300 grams only. One by one, I would like to tell you the different vessels and the chambers which are present in our heart. Okay, so let's begin. Here you can see these are the four vessels. Inko hum pulmonary veins kehte hain. Pulmonary veins. The word pulmonary means lungs. So, the veins which are directly connected to our lungs are known as pulmonary veins. Okay. Remember that pulmonary means lungs. Okay. Then, human heart is four chambered. Isme four chambers hote hain. The upper two chambers are known as atrium. And the lower two chambers are known as ventricles. Okay. So, in from the left atrium, this is the left atrium. Okay. I am denoting it like LA. Then, this one is left ventricle. Here you can see this one is right atrium and right ventricle okay so oxygenated blood hamare lungs se left atrium mein aata hai left atrium aur left ventricle ke beech mein here you can see bicuspid valve bicuspid valve isko kehte hain bicuspid valve so i naming it i'm going to name it bicuspid valve and iski jo shape hoti hai ye mitral ki tarah hoti hai that's why it is also known as mitral valve mitral valve so bicuspid valve ka structure kaise hota hai the valve is divided in two flaps ye do flaps mein divided hoti hai and blood from the back side enters from here and moves towards the left ventricle Okay, so I hope you understand how the structure of bicuspid valve is present. Then the oxygenated blood from left atrium to left ventricle moves towards the aorta. This is the largest artery of our body which we called as aorta. And blood from the left ventricle moves towards the aorta and from here you can see these are the small arteries. Ye choti choti arteries hain. These arteries are connected to different organs of our body. Hamari body ke different organs se ye arteries connected hoti hain. Or oxygenated blood from the aorta is distributed to all parts of our body. Hope you understand how the oxygenated blood moves from the lungs to heart and to different organs of our body. Let's come towards the deoxygenated world, blood. Then how it works and how it gets pumped in the heart. So here you can see the two structure. This is the inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. And this one is superior vena cava. So, the, what are the function of these vena cavas? These are the veins which collect the deoxygenated blood from our body. So, superior vena cava collects the blood from the upper part of our body and inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of our body. Those parts which are situated lower than our heart. Okay. 
So inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of our body and superior vena cava it collects the deoxygenated blood from the upper parts of our body. Then this deoxygenated blood moves towards the right atrium. Okay. So this moves towards the right atrium from superior and inferior vena cava and through the tricuspid valve which is present between the right atrium and right ventricle. This deoxygenated blood moves towards the right ventricle. Okay. So from right ventricle it moves towards the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery from here the blood moves towards the pulmonary artery and this pulmonary artery will distribute the blood to our lungs from where it gets oxygenated. Tricuspid valve ka structure dekh lijiye. Here is the tricuspid valve. It has three flaps which are of unequal size like this. So one, two and three. When these flaps get open, the blood moves from right atrium to right ventricle. Okay. Here you can see this type of a structure. These are known as the semi-lunar valves. Okay. These are the semi-lunar valves. Why we call it as semi-lunar? Lunar means moon and semi means half. So these are the structure which looks like the half moon. That's why we call it as semi-lunar valves. Now remember one more thing. The wall of the left ventricle is slightly thick. Ye left ventricle ki wall thodi thick hoti hai as compared to right ventricle. Because it has to pump the oxygenated blood to all parts of our body. Hamari body ke different different parts mein isko oxygenated blood distribute karna hota hai. That's why iski wall thodi thick hoti hai as compared to right ventricle. Okay. So hope you understand. If you have any doubt you can ask me. Thank you.